Alright, hello guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi completely headlessly on a Windows machine. What you're going to need to complete this tutorial, of course, is your Raspberry Pi. I'm using a B Plus model here. The micro SD card that connects to, that plugs into the Raspberry Pi, uh, an adapter, a power supply for your Raspberry Pi, and an Ethernet cable. You could also have a Wi-Fi dongle if you wish, but that this is not necessary. The first thing you're going to want to do on your computer is go to the raspberrypi.org download section and download your latest distribution of Raspbian. I've already downloaded this to make for a faster tutorial. While that's downloading, you're also going to want to download a program called PuTTY. This is going to allow you to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Finally, you're going to need a program called Win32 Disk Imager. This program will let you write the operating system to your SD card so that you can plug it into your Pi and actually use it. So the first thing you're going to so after that's downloading or while that's downloading, plug your put together your SD card and plug it into the back of your computer. I've already have it set up here, but let's pretend this is any old SD card. Uh, if you're going to format it for a Raspberry Pi, you're going to have everything you have on the SD card deleted. What you're going to want to do is open up your Win32 Disk Imager program. Make sure that you have your SD card drive selected. In this case, it's E for me. You're going to open up, if you go to your uh, your image, you're going to open up the Raspbian image and then you're going to hit write. Yes, you want to do it. And this will take a minute. Alright, so now we're done writing and we'll see write successful, hopefully. And we're done. So we can close this up. And then what you're going to want to do is eject your SD card. Take the SD card out of your computer, slap it into your Pi. Plug the Ethernet cable into your Raspberry Pi, and then plug the power supply into your Raspberry Pi. Let it boot up. You'll know that it's done booting up when this light here, here let me zoom in, when this light here stops blinking green. So you see that it's blinking next to the red light. When it stops blinking green, then you know you're up and running. On your computer, right click uh, if you're set up like me you'll have a Wi-Fi connection open up your network and sharing center and you'll see here's my regular Wi-Fi my internet connection and here's my Ethernet click on the Ethernet bring this up click on details and you will see an IP address that your computer has automatically assigned to the Raspberry Pi if you don't see that go into properties uh, under the networking tab go down and you should have this internet protocol version 4 double click obtain an IP address automatically obtain DNS server address automatically you want it to have it set up like that and we see our IP address 169254171121 if we open up putty now and we type in that address what you'll find is that you won't be able to connect there you go see connection refused and the reason why that is, is reason I'm not terribly sure of. Windows is not my uh, primary platform. But we can get around this. So just what you want to do is write this number down. 169254, those are the numbers uh, on your computer. They could be very different. But those numbers you want to remember, these ones on the end, shouldn't matter as much. Close this down. And what you're going to want to do now is unpower your Pi take out the SD card again, put it into your adapter, put the adapter back into your computer, and open up the folder in which uh, your SD card is, and you're going to want to open up this here, this is command line dot text. Open that up, and at the very end here, add a space, IP equals, and now we can create a new IP address. So before it was 169.254.17.121, in my case, in your case it could have been different. So what I'm going to do is 169.254.3.14. See? Pi. Ha ha! You're going to remember this one, right? 
This is, you'll probably seen this before on other tutorials on how to do this, this will not work, and the reason it will not work is because there's a bug in Notepad. If you copy this, and you open up somewhere where there's a text area, a text window like this, Google Translate, and you paste, what you'll see is there is a break here between root weight and IP equals. There, that doesn't show up here in Notepad, but it shows up here and you need this to be on one line and I think this is a wall a lot of people hit not realizing that notepad is actually not a very good program let's remove that break copy this and paste it into command line dot text and delete any space that might be following it we're gonna save that eject our SD card uh, close down this eject our SD card throw that back into your Raspberry Pi and again wait for your Pi to boot up alright it's been about a minute the green idiot light has stopped blinking let's open up Ethernet again and go to details again you see it's 169.254.17.121 that's okay if we open up PuTTY and type in the IP address that we specified that was 0.314 uh, 0.3.14 and open that up Ta-da! We are able to connect. You want to hit yes, and then we're going to log in. Uh, let's just see if I can blow this up for you so that you can actually read what it is that I'm doing here. The default login of your Pi is going to be Pi. Your password is going to be lowercase raspberry. And there we are, and we're connected SSH into our new Raspberry Pi. Now, we don't necessarily have the internet connection right now. If I type in sudo apt get uh, update, we need an internet connection to do that. And what you'll see is you have a bunch of errors. We don't have internet yet. This is where, I'm just going to break this, this is where the Wi-Fi dongle comes into play if you want to set that up. If you don't have a Wi-Fi dongle, you can share the internet connection that presumably, if you're watching this video, your computer is on. And the way you want to go about doing that is first, let's shut down our Raspberry Pi. sudo shut down now. So we're going to go down, we're going to lose our connection. That's okay. After your Raspberry Pi shuts down, that is the green idiot light stops blinking, we can safely remove the power to our Pi. Remove the SD card of your Pi plug it back into your adapter and put that into the back of your computer. We're going to open up that text file command line again and we're going to delete what we wrote here. The reason I showed you how to do this in the first place is so you could establish a connection through direct ethernet. Save your, res uh, save your command line dot text and eject the card. Put it back into your Raspberry Pi. Before you turn on the power, go back into your network and sharing center and click on your Wi-Fi. Go to properties and go to sharing. You want to click on allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. This will allow your Raspberry Pi to access the internet that your computer has access to. When this is done, close it down and plug in the power to your Raspberry Pi. While it's booting up, you're going to want to open up your command prompt. Type in CMD into your search and open up the command prompt. Then you're going to want to type in ping raspberry pi dot ms home dot net. Wait until your Raspberry Pi finishes booting up. Alright, it's had a minute. If we give it a go, we see that we're getting replies and the IP address from which we are getting a reply is 192.168.137.104 it's going to be different on your computer likely but just type in whatever that address is so in my case 192.168.137.104 through port 22 open that up yes you want to accept again you're going to want to log in as pi with your password being raspberry now you can try updating, uh, but before we do that, uh, I should have mentioned this before, what we're going to want to do is configure our Raspberry Pi. 
type in sudo raspi-config and it'll bring up this window here and you can do a bunch of different things in here just like I showed you on the other tutorial on how to do this on a Mac the first thing you're going to want to do is expand your file system once that's done if you want to change other things such as your password or other things uh, you can do that now otherwise go to finish and yes you're going to want to reboot you're going to lose connection through your putty again of course because you're rebooting your raspberry pi just simply open up putty again type in the ip address that you have 192.168.137.104 and wait for your raspberry pi to finish booting up once we finish booting up let's enter in that ip address we're going to log in as pi with the password being raspberry and now we should be able to perform our sudo apt-get update to update all the programs that we have and we see here we are currently connected to the internet this will take a minute and I strongly recommend that you update your Raspberry Pi after your fresh installation in the next video I will show you how to set up a remote desktop to be able to see the graphical user interface as well as a VNC server so that you can SSH into it uh, through a secure connection because remote desktop isn't secure or as secure as uh, VNC tunneling through SSH and through that you would be able to connect to your Raspberry Pi over the internet. I'll see you in my next video.